hello welcome to my channel this is Margaret from Emma Cough Health in this video we are going to talk about how to become a healthcare consultant to become a great and productive healthcare consultant you need to have certain level of management skills and here are some essential information that will help you understand this role into detail healthcare consultants are management analysts employed by healthcare industry they examine the efficiency profit and structure of the organization then offer suggestions on methods of improvement this career requires a minimal of a bachelor's degree though a master's degree is generally preferred certification is recommended but it's not required it's not a requirement at all here are some of the job requirements of this position the exact education requirements for a healthcare consultant vary based on the employer private industries mostly prefer healthcare consultants with a master's degree but generally a bachelor's degree is the minimal education you can also back it up with uh, on the job experience or several years of work experience to attain higher positions. If you are interested in becoming healthcare consultants, pick majors in management, marketing, economics, human resource, or business. Additionally, choosing a minor or a specialization in healthcare is suggested by the way there are may there are so many other courses that are now structured uh, into a healthcare or a business healthcare business or business in healthcare so there wouldn't be any problem finding programs that will match your interest According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, a healthcare consultant must be self-motivated and work with minimal supervision since employers expect them to be experts at improving an organization. While certification is not a necessary requirement for this career, acquiring a certified management consultant designation can demonstrate an additional level of commitment to employers and customers the institute of management consultants usa inc offers this designation to healthcare consultants who possess good references have the required amount of education complete an interview an interview and pass an exam to maintain this designation a healthcare consultant recertifies every three years wow interesting every three years yes you have to recertify yourself just like the way other programs are uh, some of them offers continuous education uh, courses. Yes, yeah, many of them are like that. They offers the continuous education, and that is also a great, uh, a great thing to look at. 
Our next slide talk about what healthcare consultants do. This is performance on the job. What do they really do when they are on the job? Healthcare consultants research and analyze finances to spot strengths and weaknesses in a facility's economic strategies from clinical infrastructure to operational merits or metrics. Sorry. Once a consultant has identified these strengths and weaknesses, he or she can propose solutions to streamline economic uh, processes. The goal behind this solution is to help a facility utilize its budget as efficiently as possible and achieve the desired end game of providing high quality healthcare that improves patient outcomes. That is very, very important. Healthcare facilities sometimes hire healthcare consultants to provide analysis and suggestions from a third party perspective. After a consultant has provided valuable insight, a facility may retain the consultant longer to help implement any suggested changes. Facilities may also bring consultants in to oversee a merger or acquisition and ensure a smooth transition. There are typical steps to becoming a healthcare consultant. The journey towards becoming a healthcare consultant usually begins with a bachelor's in healthcare practice management or some schools call it healthcare management. That's how it was called in my school when I had my bachelor's in healthcare management. It allows students to hone the skills necessary to excel on the business side of the industry. Courses within the curriculum may emphasize deeper studies into these aspects such as population health management, financial management within healthcare, and the role of technology and software in healthcare. Along the way, students can expand their knowledge of the healthcare industry, its inner workings, and how it differs from other industries. The healthcare management curriculum commonly concludes with a caption or captain, captain project. I did my captain project before graduating. It was really cool. I remember writing about 65 pages of article and I was asked to publish it on LinkedIn. Well, it may differ uh, in different schools. An immersive practicum program which allow of that either they give you a captain project, captain project, or they give you an immersive uh, practicum project or program which allows students to apply their knowledge in a tangible setting. Most people go ahead and uh, go to, go ahead to earn master's degree. It's great to have a master's degree. Um, holders of a bachelor's degree commonly pursue master's degree. This advanced education may be necessary in some cases, as some employers require candidates for a healthcare consultant position to hold 
at least master's degree. A master's program such as an online master's in health administration encourages students to have deeper into the aspect of the business side of healthcare. The program typically allows students to concentrate on a specific aspect of healthcare management, healthcare administration rather, which could lead to a career as a specialized consultant. For instance, students could concentrate on courses devoted to data management, which could enable them to use data analytics to create efficient financial strategies. They may also um, specialized. They may also dive into courses specialized in healthcare strategies, um, such as marketing and economics. One specialized concentration is providing care for the rapidly aging population, which is growing at an unprecedented rate. Most MHA, which is Masters in um, Health Administration programs, typically uh, take two to three years to complete. In some cases, this may include up to one year of um, supervised administrative experience in a healthcare consulting environment or in a special hospital. Um, there are built on job experiences that can actually help you uh, do great in your field. It's always good to have a tons of job experience. By the time you are done with your master's program, you will definitely have all the, the skills needed to take a senior level position in farms or even start your own small business start your own co consulting business the final steps toward a healthcare consulting career usually involve gaining key on the job experience many companies require prospective employees to have related work experience in, a, in either an administrative or clinical capacity. This experience might be at least partially earned through the completion of an advanced degree program, which typically includes hands-on learning in a healthcare-related environment. License and certification are not commonly, commonly required for health service management position, uh, such as healthcare consultants, but some candidates may choose to increase their hireability by pursuing licensing certifications anyway. Organizations such as the National Association of Health Care business consultants offer certification programs, uh, although some may require membership and other prerequisites before allowing students to take certificate exams. I think I probably I need to get one of this. <laughs> that would be great to have certification, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary proving to your clients that you have the skills and you can make their company great. It's very important. It's what the clients need. They hire you for your expertise. They hire you so you can help them achieve great productivity. So certification, you know, it boosts your hireability, but it does not guarantee that um, you are going to perform 
you have to prove that through your skills. Skills healthcare consultants need. Because healthcare consultants are chiefly concerned with the business side of healthcare, their skills, their skill set trying to uh, tend to have plenty in common with what uh, what's needed to succeed in business. Some of the key skills vital to a consultant's success include this. Um, analytical skills. Healthcare consultants must have a strong capacity to research, analyze, and interpret data drawn from many sources within a healthcare facility. Doing so can allow them to make strong informative decisions concerning a clinic's financial efficiency. Um, they need to be detailed. They need to have attention to detail. Um, healthcare consultants often must work in multiple projects simultaneously. Therefore, it's important that they remain organized and retain a sharp focus of a project tiniest aspect. One missing piece of information could make it to make a consultant findings inaccurate. Just a tiny mistake can affect your findings, which could yield distraught results, disastrous results. And make sure that your results is not important at the end of the day just because of the little mistake you made. Communication skills. Possessing effective communication skills is needed to clearly commune improvement ideas with a customer or a client. The ability to handle stress and act responsibly is important, especially when healthcare consultants are quite more experienced and are placed in charge of specific projects to improve economic efficiency within a healthcare facility. Interpersonal skills. There may be times when facilities bring in healthcare consultants to handle delicate situations such as uh, staffing or administrative issues. Therefore, it's imperative they have the capacity to interact with staff and other professionals in a manner that emphasize dignity and mature respect or mutual respect. Dignity and mutual respect is very, very important if you are a healthcare consultant. This brings us to the end of this topic. In the next video, I'm going to take you through all the healthcare management curriculum.